Neanderthals are one of our closest ancient human relatives. In fact, genetic data suggests we share a common ancestor and thanks to the hundreds of fossils unearthed in the past 160 years and recent DNA evidence that scientists have been able to build up a detailed picture of what Neanderthals looked like. One of the highlight specimens in our human evolution gallery is the fossil skull known as Gibraltar 1 or the Gibraltar skull. It is the first adult Neanderthal skull ever discovered. The skull was found in 1848 in a quarry in Gibraltar, although its significance wasn't recognized at first. Eight years later, amateur naturalist Johann Fulrut identified similar skull and additional remains in the Neander Valley in Germany. In 1864, it was named as a new species of human Homo neanderthalensis. Two skulls from Gibraltar were among the first Neanderthal remains ever found and have since become some of the best studied human fossils in the world. One was found at Forbes Quarry in 1848 and one at a site called Devil's Tower in 1926. The Forbes Quarry skull was the first adult Neanderthal ever discovered and it is one of the most precious specimens in the museum collections. It is also known as Gibraltar 1. Devil's Tower specimen also known as Gibraltar 2 was the other find. It is part of a Neanderthal child's skull. It was found in 26 by a team led by the archaeologist Dorothy Garrett. The Devil's Star site is at a rock shelter not far from Forbes Quarry where the skull was recovered alongside animal remains and stone tools. The Neanderthal remains consist of parts of the jaws and parts of the brain case and its teeth show that the child was probably about 4 or 5 years old when they died. Despite their frame, there are many remaining uncertainties about the two partial skulls including their geological age and their relationship to other European Neanderthals. It was thought that little DNA analysis could be done on the two skulls, since they had been preserved in unfavorable conditions for many years and because present-day human DNA has contaminated them. But ancient DNA has finally been extracted from these fossils in a collaboration led by the National History Museum in London and the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Leipzig. Analysis confirmed that the Devil Star child was male and the Forbes Quarry adult was female. The researchers also found that the adult was genetically more similar to earlier 60,000 to 120,000 year old Neanderthals in Europe and Western Asia than to younger Neanderthal remains from Spain. The Forbes quarry skull is relatively small with a small and rounded brain case, a prominent but lightly built brow ridge, a very large and projecting nose, swept back cheeks and details of the ear and neck region that align it with the Neanderthals. The skull also exhibits a bony growth on the inside of the forehead which is associated with menopause among modern humans. This may be the oldest evidence of the uniquely human pattern of menopause. Coming to the Devil's Star Skull, most of it is preserved at least on one side and it is clearly that of a child with a very large brain case. There are clear beginnings of a brow ridge, a long and white face and large front teeth. The child sustained an injury to the mouth and the teeth exhibit developmental defects. A common feature among the Neanderthals that usually indicate seasonal episodes of starvation. The Gibraltar 1 fossil is thought to be about 50,000 years old, but the dating isn't very precise at the moment. Museum scientists are working with dating and DNA labs to accurately calculate the age and recover parts of this Neanderthal's genome. 
If successful, this specimen will be the most southerly Neanderthal for which we have DNA. It may help to answer questions as to whether Mediterranean Neanderthals were genetically different to Neanderthals from the north. The skull that Charles Darwin studied and called wonderful back in the 19th century still has secrets to reveal. Neanderthals began to evolve in Europe and Asia while our own species was evolving in Africa and physical evidence of Neanderthals ends around 40,000 years ago. Fossils archaeological evidence indicate that Gibraltar may have been one of the Neanderthals' last refuge. The area has had a mild and stable climate for the last 125,000 years unlike Northern Europe where extreme cold stages made the land inhabitable at times. Nothing new though, as with most things in paleoanthropology, the Neanderthal history at Gibraltar is not settled. Some anthropologists have questioned the validity of the very young radiocarbon dates. Why the Neanderthals eventually died out is also a matter of debate. Further climate change in Europe, competition with modern humans, or some mix of both are all possible explanations. What are your thoughts on this guys? Do let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and for more videos on our ancestors. Do go through our channel and do support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.